when people view my work, I want them to be inspired and every time they see it. I'd like for them to be able to just walk right into my pieces or swim into it or fly into it and really give their eyes a treat. When I was in high school, I was a big athlete. And when I got to college, I realized that my professional sports aspirations weren't gonna pan out. And so through kind of just curiosity or even boredom, I needed to find something else. And art met that challenge. I wasn't one of these savant killer artists coming out of high school. I warmed up to the challenge of getting better, this straight up hard work. And I got good enough to where then I went to art school, formally from Kansas City Art Institute. And what really took me to the next level, I think, is when I came to California in 2000, because it was just like, here's the whole world, what are you gonna do with your art now? There was no limit to me like, how far I took it. My style and art, which has been aptly named Fortunism, <laughs> it's like a contemporary version of Impressionism. I've been compared to some graffiti style, uh, muralist, abstract form, even psychedelic. I paint in plain air, which means I paint on location, usually in front of, directly in front of what I'm looking at. I think true plain air is essentially showing up with a blank canvas and leaving with a finished work. My personal best work has always come in that, that uh, really visceral burst of creative energy. And then when it's over, it's, it's, that's it. I choose to paint in acrylic, usually on wood panel, but sometimes on canvas as well. I also use a clear coat when I'm finished, either epoxy or some kind of super glossy finish. When I paint, especially outside in the sun or in the elements, I want to put on as many layers as possible. And acrylic lets me paint like as fast as I think almost. It's more like jazz or impromptu, like a newly found rhythm all the time. And acrylic helps me do that by just drying so quick. And then if I change my mind, I can paint right over something and keep going. My friend Lauren Kilb is offering artists an opportunity to work on her project that will be debuting at this year's Burning Man. The project's called The Lens Perspective. You will see different artwork and quotes inviting you to kind of find your way into the uh, project. And once you're inside, you're surrounded by mirrors. So you see yourself in 360 for infinity. It's an infinity room and it makes you, it's supposed to essentially change your perspective uh, by seeing yourself uh, from all directions. My contribution to the lens is one of the artist panels. Lauren actually gave me the quote, which is the foundation for growth is acceptance. The bottom of the panel has the quote, and then as you look up, you see the base of a, a big Joshua tree and it rises into the stars. It just makes you feel, makes you feel small, and makes the tree feel big. Me and my business partner, we're a part of the art culture in Southern California. Location 1980, my gallery, has been a good place for normal, everyday citizens of Costa Mesa to come in to a gallery that's not too high level to where they're uncomfortable. It's more of a neighborhood gathering spot so they can see local talent and then appreciate it to the point where maybe they, they purchase it or invest in the local talent. I have worked closely with the Cultural Arts Committee um, different projects. Recently though, with the city of Costa Mesa has had uh, started their own art walk. And, and as the owner of Location 1980, a local gallery representing multiple local artists, including myself, I thought that we should be a big part of the art walk. So we're just doing our best to have exposure, but then maybe to take it to the next level with maybe inspiring other people to make art. One of the highest compliments I've gotten from a collector is she said every morning when she makes her coffee before the family wakes up, he's like, every single day I look at your piece and it puts a smile on my face. So when I go to make a new piece, I have that in mind. And I think artwork can make people happy and change their, their whole daily outlook. 
I, honestly, I don't know what I'd do if I wasn't an artist. I look forward to the challenge of always leveling up and demanding more of my work and myself to share, share the work with, you know, with the world.